home tab, font group, header, black, white, center it, and then let's insert column J. Let's insert something between column J, right click and insert. And then we're going to say, this is gonna be the Z of age, Z of age. And so we'll do our Z score. This is gonna be equal to brackets, the 24 minus the 28. I'm gonna say F4 on the keyboard and then close that thing up and then divide it by the standard D F4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the letter and number and enter then decimalizing it home tab number group decimalize double click in the fill handle to drop it down let's do it again over here for the Z of the BA batting average format paint the header cell home tab clipboard format painter for the z of the batting average doing the z score once again equaling the batting average data let's well, we need a bracket bracket and then the batting average data minus the mean f4 on the keyboard making an absolute dollar sign before the letter and number closing up the brackets and dividing by the standard d which is the 0.0555 and then we want an f4 on the keyboard dollar sign before the g and the three and enter let's decimalize it home tab number group decimalize to recognize and then double click on the fill handle to drop it on down let's make it a little skinnier from i to l because it's ill it needs to be sick this is sick man it's ill all right so we're gonna close it up like that is that good or bad i don't know it's ill man it's ill all right let's do then the next one is going to be the z uh, age times times the z of the ba and let's do this formatting home tab font group black white let's wrap the text this time and center it so now we're multiplying these together so we took the the x minus the mean over the standard d the y minus the mean over the standard d which is the age and the batting average now we're multiplying them together this is going to be the, the z of the age times the z of the ba or batting average let's decimalize to recognize and then double click in the fill handle to drop it down dropping it down all right and then we'll do so now we've got we just need to sum it up to get that numerator so we'll close up let's make the n a little bit thin and then we're going to say this is going to be the r or cor correlation i think i spelled it right this time this is the last problem i believe and the spelling home tab font group has been done i can learn i learn stuff sum of the z of age times the z of the ba tab tab putting it in the outer column summing it up equals the s u m shift nine and picking up our last column control shift down and enter let's uh, decimalize it to recognize it a little bit better home tab number if you want to recognize it better you need some of those you need to reveal the decimals otherwise you don't even know who they are i don't even know who you are some column then we're going to do the denominator n minus one subcategory calculation we're going to say n just n just n don't try to help me out excel less one you're not helping you're not helping excel i don't care if you're trying to help trying to help i'm going to say let's say let's select these two my house can't be rebuilt with good intentions excel you you're messing it up home tab alignment space this is going to be the count so we're going to count the number of uh rows we have equals the count i can count any one of these let's just pick the first one control shift down and enter so we have 815 columns of data less one according to the numerator in our formulae equals one eight hundred and fifteen minus the one eight hundred and fourteen let's put an underline under here home tab font group underline and let's say this is going to be the r or correlation 
So the correlation is going to be equal to the numerator up top now in the outer column divided by the denominator. It's zero. Let's go to the home tab number and decimalize to recognize. So 0 0.05. So not the largest of correlations there. <laughs> we could also plot this out. We could plot this thing out and say, oh, all right, what if I plot it out then? Check it out that way. Let's do this two data sets, control shift down and say that we're gonna say uh, control backspace and insert charts scatter plot and check it out that way. So now you've got, let's put the labels on it, plus button, axis labels. It's gonna pick up by default, the one on the left being the X. So I'm gonna say this equals the age and then this one over here is going to be equal to the BA or batting average. So, you know, usually we would be thinking this would be the independent variable. So you can question if that is the case. As the age goes up, what you would kind of think possibly the batting averages would go down. Except maybe as the age goes up, they're able to consume more, more drugs or something. And so maybe... <laughs> They get more yoked up as they get, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just guessing here. But let's just see what the data says in terms of the correlation line, the trend line. Let's put that one in place. You don't see much action happening there, not a very high degree of correlation at all. Uh, if we tied it, if we could know how much, uh, how much juice they were taking, that would probably give us <laughs> a better line. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Let's go to the first tab. We're going to say, let's hit the, let's hit the drop down here and make it a straight line. Let's make it orange. And so we have a bit of, a bit of, uh, you know, a negative trend 